Hello everyone, welcome to With Heart. Today I'm joined by Brian Maxfield with Rocky Mountain Upholstery and we're talking about fabric, specifically how much fabric you need for what type of furniture you're going to be refinishing. So what are the most common types of furniture that you have come in and out of here? Well obviously you have your standard seven foot sofa, uh, club chair, wing chairs. Wing chairs we do a lot. Um, a lot of headboards. Um, really a variety of everything. Everything you, know, you can so, imagine. Yeah, I mean. Nothing is worse than finding the right piece of fabric and cutting it too short. Right. <laughs> then sending it off to the reupholster. It happens all the time. And nothing, there's nothing you can do, right? Right, it happens all the time. I always recommend, you know, I'll, I'll talk to my client and I'll say, go find a piece you like and then let's talk about it, you know, because there's, there's different fabrics out there, you know, that we have to maybe cut a different way or it's got a pattern in it, you know, we want to match everything up. Right. Um, so it's always it's always good to have that communication with, with your upholsterer to make sure that uh, you're on the same page because if you cut it short, you, who knows if you're going to find the same dialogue, Sorry, Charlie. the same color. You're out of luck. Yeah, you, you may be out of luck. Two wing back chairs, what on average do you need? Two wing back chairs, um, uh, on average for a standard wing back chair, you probably, thir 13 to 14 yards. Different types of sofas. For a seven foot sofa, just, you know, with cushions and, and cushion backs, probably about 18 to 20 yards. And again, it depends on how you're cutting that fabric. If there's a pattern in it, you know, the velvet's gotta be running the right way. There's lots of things to think about. If you do a tight back, a, if you have a tight back sofa, probably about 16 yards. You know, that's, that's the tight back with no cushions. So it, it's eliminating some of that fabric. Tufting makes a difference though, right? Tufting always makes a difference. It takes a lot of fabric to fold in all those tufts. So again, you want to make sure that you uh, check with your upholster because it, it, it varies by the height and the width. And so, you know, a tufted sofa, you probably want to add about four or five yards. Wow, that much. Right. What about like an average size settee? Oh, about seven, six to seven yards. And does the tufting add on to that as well? Yes, yes. Always tufting. Yes. Tufting. <laughs> it's so pretty, but it yeah. makes the price go up, right? Right, right. It, it does. What about just an average chair with just a cushion and, and maybe like some a cane on the back? Oh, probably about four yards. Um, and then you, obviously you have like a club chair, the big rolled arm chairs. They go about 10 yards. So the best thing to do then is if you find a great piece, maybe snap a picture of it and send right. it to you or your right. upholsterer just to make sure. Send it to them, make sure. Usually the company you're buying it for or from can't tell you what the pattern repeat is. And then your upholsterer should be able to figure that out. We can figure that out, you know, how much exact yards by the length of your piece, the width, the depth. You know, we can figure that out. We do it all day. So make sure you just stay in contact as you find those pieces. Welting can also up the yardage, right? If your piece has right. welting, mm -hmm. because yeah. it has to go a certain yeah. way on the fabric, right? right. Yeah, so uh, on, a, on a standard sofa, you could add probably about a yard and a half to two yards just in welting. So Welting's piping along the edge of your sofa. Right, yeah. Okay. So yeah, welting adds. Every little thing adds. Skirts, if it has a skirt, that's going to add more fabric. Okay, and any final messages for anybody heading to the fabric store? Again, just uh, find that piece you like and make sure there's enough. Make sure that you you get the, uh, the, 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 the color and the style that you like, but make sure you find out that there's enough before you fall in love with it and buy, buy an amount that, that's not going to be enough, and then you'll be sad. Yeah, don't cut it <laughs> until don't you know. Don't cut it until you know. Okay, great. Thank you so much to Brian from Rocky Mountain Upholstery, and thanks to you for watching.